What is up guys? I'm back again with the next episode of how to J play Banjo-Kazooie and in this video I want to cover how to ledge trap and edge guard with him. I really like this topic because Banjo has so many tools to effectively ledge trap and edge guard and there's so many possibilities of how to use them effectively. Just a reminder, I stream on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday at twitch.tv slash jplay underscore underscore underscore. Make sure to tune in and before we begin make sure to drop a like on the video and press subscribe if you like this content and want to see more. Really quick, I want to cover the difference between ledge trapping and edge guarding. This is general smash knowledge, but it's really good to have a quick refresh. Ledge trapping involves using various moves to corner your opponent onto the ledge of the stage. Then, this will force them into a bad option that you can then punish. Edge guarding involves using different moves, aerials, and projectiles to prevent your opponent from even recovering back to the ledge at all. So, let's hop right into it. Using Banjo's projectiles is essential for solid ledge trapping. Releasing his grenade at about roll distance while your opponent is hanging from ledge means that the grenade will fall off the stage when opponent invincibility wears off. This will force your opponent to neutral get up, jump, roll, get up attack, or take the hit of the grenade. If they neutral get up to avoid the grenade, you can punish with run up jab, grab, or if you are more confident, forward smash, or Wonder Wing. Wonder Wing can be really good if you know your opponent's habits because the hitbox will linger at ledge catching spot dodges or dropped shields. Using Kazooie fast cancels applies a lot of pressure to neutral get up, but be careful that your opponent shields the egg and you Wonder Wing off stage into disadvantage. Another great punish is timing the neutral get up correctly and landing with sweet spot forward air. You will need to space this as much as possible though so landing on shield will not cost you too much. If the opponent rolls, you can use the bread and butter ledge trapping, catching the roll with forward smash or wonder wing, killing super early. Forward smash is better because it's not as committal, whereas wonder wing will stall you at ledge, allowing your opponent to have the opportunity for a free punish near the blast zone. If they're at lower percents, you can also catch them with Regal Blaster to start a ladder that can end with KFC, or drop through a platform with LTC for a simple Wonder Wing confirm. I hope you're starting to notice a pattern here. If your opponent jumps, you can anti-air them with Nair. If they are jumping from ledge with an attack, use back air as the dish noise will be better for contesting the hitboxes. You can also hard punish with jump back forward air. I'm going to demonstrate it here while he's standing because uh, I don't have enough hands. This consists of jumping away from ledge and then double jumping in with fair to catch your opponent off guard. You could also go for Wonder Wing, but once again, it's way more committal and will push you into disadvantage if you miss. If they get up attack through the grenade, you can choose most of the same options as neutral get up, just make sure that your spacing is correct or you could get caught by the attack, especially with characters like Bowser, whose get up attack is the size of Russia. If your opponent stays on ledge too long, the grenade will hit them, popping them into the air. You can punish this with a well-timed F smash, down smash, or Wonder Wing. There's not much commitment here, so you're pretty safe when choosing an option. After releasing your grenade, you can perform other actions to keep your opponent guessing. From a platform, at a distance, or from the perfect distance, you can shoot eggs to pressure your opponent to get up from ledge. Eggs can even gimp your opponent this way if they are not careful. When releasing a grenade, you can also pick up the grenade and Z drop it on top of ledge or down throw it at ledge for a more aggressive approach. You should also dash dance at roll distance to keep your opponents on their toes and force them into one of the options listed above. What doesn't Banjo have for edge guarding? He has so many tools and can edge guard in many different ways. So here I want to go over all the different options that he has. Banjo has multiple two frames and it is important to know which is best for which characters. That would be an extremely long list, but practicing against different characters will determine which option to choose. Also, to quickly review two-framing, here's a definition taken from SSBWiki.com. When a character grabs ledge, there are two frames, or 1 30th of a second, of tangibility directly before they grab the ledge. And that is where you can punish them with a two-frame. First, there is down tilt. This is really good for poking away characters such as Donkey Kong or Bowser. Hitting them once usually ascends them at an awful angle, allowing for even easier follow-ups. Next is forward tilt. 
This one honestly won't get used very much because you must angle it down is probably the least effective of his many two frames. Both down smash and forward smash are great two frames and hit slightly below ledge. Down smash is great for recoveries that come at low angles, such as snake cipher or piranha plant up. If it connects with a recovery tool such as Cypher, the hitbox will be extended, allowing it to connect with opponents if they do not recover perfectly. Forge Smash is great for more angled recoveries like Ness or Wolf. It punishes hard and spacing it well will take early stocks. His last two frame is a gimmick to say the least. Wonderwing's lingering hitbox allows it to stuff out recoveries like Krom, Ike, or even Game & Watch. Timing it just right will land the sweet spot and take solid stocks while also providing invincibility, forcing your opponents to stall their ledge get up options if it does not two frame. Using projectiles off ledge allow you to maintain advantage on stage while simultaneously gimping your opponent or forcing a bad option. Banjo has three projectiles. Egg, Grenade, and yup, Spring Pad. Please learn your egg trajectories. You can gimp opponents off stage and steal their double jumps while not risking any reverse edge guards. This is great for characters like Ness, Roy, Krom, Mario, and tons of others. Grenade off ledge is great because depending on angle, you can follow up with Smash Attack, Wonder Wing, or Aerial. This is especially good for heavies like Bowser or King K. Rule. Spring Pad is a great gimping tool that will make you leave the stage, but not too far. You can drop it vertically on opponents who have already used their double jumps, or who are about to, such as Belmont's or Zero Suit Samus. This is a safe gimp and is very reliable. Sometimes a combination of these will force your opponent to constantly mix up their recovery patterns. Back air, forward air, nair, and sometimes down air are great for edge guard. You can go far off stage with all these moves considering Banjo can recover from almost anywhere. Back air is great for contesting recoveries with hitboxes such as Fox, Ken, or Bowser. You can back air them into the blast zone or falling back air them into the stage, forcing a tech situation. This is great for vertical recoveries like Lucina or Pyra. You can also stall on ledge and contest your opponent when they try to recover. Forward air has great uses as a follow-up such as grenade on stage or off into forward air. You can also follow up an off stage wonder wing with forward air. Back air works for that as well, just depends on the situation. Forward air is great for hard punishes, but is very committal due to end lag and sometimes requires a fast fall. Nair is super good for drag downs and tether recoveries such as Joker, Min Min, or Bylet. It is actually super simple to use, and you just fall off stage and can nair without any other input. This will naturally pull your opponent downward, gimping them. Practice the angles for this to get a feel for it. You can also nair just off ledge to catch your coverings. Down air is mostly a disrespect tool. However, footstool into down air is almost guaranteed, but should only be used with a solid lead. Wonder Wing off stage is great against opponents without a jump or characters with a linear recovery such as Hero. If the Wonder Wing alone doesn't kill, you can follow up with the aerial to top it off. Just be aware of your jump count to ensure you can recover afterwards. And with that guys, that about wraps up how to ledge trap and edge guard with Banjo. He has so many different options and really his ledge trapping and edge guarding is only limited to your imagination. Leave a comment down below if something you learned is something you want to try in terms of ledge trapping and edge guarding. Until next time guys.